Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and I want to show you how to create great looking, resizable graphics for print and the web using Microsoft Publisher. This is important because in the church, oftentimes we want to create custom graphics for our publications. We'd love to have a unified look in our graphic images, perhaps for outreach or the holidays, where we have postcards, business cards, the web, where everything has the same image, where it's resizable, where it will print well, and both on paper and on the web. But we don't necessarily just want to use clip art alone. And we don't have the high-end software to create these really good-looking things. We maybe don't have Photoshop, we don't have Illustrator, and we don't have any money to buy those programs or learn them. However, we aren't without resources. We do have access to some attractive clip art if we want to use that, and we also have access to a marvelous collection of free images through RGB stock, through Stock Exchange, and the Morgue file. We have Microsoft Publisher, and we're feeling a bit adventurous. So what I'm going to teach you now is how to create a custom, resizable, high-resolution graphic for print and on the web. You can quite honestly, and I say this with tons of experience because I've created images like this with Photoshop, spent hours combining things and putting stuff together, but I'm going to show you how to create resizable graphics with Publisher. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to do it with clip art. Then I'm going to do another short uh, video that I will show you how to do a photograph. But let's go ahead and get started with the basic one right now. Here we are in Microsoft Publisher. Let's go ahead and open up a publication. I'm going to choose blank publications. Now this particular demonstration is in Publisher 2003. Very similar in other programs, but this is the one that I feel that most of you have from the feedback that I got from you. Now to create this image, remember we'll be able to resize it and do all sorts of things with it, but I have found for a lot of things like this, starting out just using the business card size file works out really well. So let's select the business card. Now on this, let's use as our campaign something that we're going to call No Bible, No Breakfast. This is actually something that we did in our church to uh, get people to have their quiet time. And we wanted to create a little refrigerator magnet using a business card size to advertise it, to give it to people. We also want to be able to use it on the web, in print, whatever. So we want to sort of come up with a logo for it that we can resize and use in many different ways. This is how you do it. First of all, let's select a graphic image. We're going to just use a piece of clip art for this demonstration. And let's pick out a little Bible. We'll move this over here. We're going to close this out. And needless to say, it's way too big. So we're going to just uh, click on the corner and size it down so it fits on our business card size piece of paper. Okay, let's make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, we have our Bible. Now we want to add our slogan. No Bible. No breakfast. Now we can change that and modify it a little bit later, but we just wanted to get the basic information there. Now to make it a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead and perhaps put a color bar across here. Now the way that you can do this, it's really very easy, is you can select your shape, draw it up, and then I like to choose just no line because that's less to worry about. And then for the fill, let's go ahead and pick a gold color. And then now all we have to do is go up to the menu that says Arrange and send that to the back. Uh, really, really easy to do. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is just uh, to give it maybe even a little bit more definition, let's go ahead and make a full color background. Now what's really neat um, about this is after we get it done you see all this can be sized as a graphic so you can fill up the whole shape and it'll really look neat. Okay on this again I am choosing no line and I think for my background 
I want a nice blue and once again we go down arrange order and send it to the back. Now let me make this gold bar a little bit smaller. Just okay like so. Okay that looks great. Alrighty now let's change our text just a little bit make it a little bit more interesting looking. Um, let's uh, one thing that I found works kind of nice and, and prints up well is this Albertus um, extra uh, bold and let's just go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Okay do that and we'll just move that over. The Bible now I like that maybe That looks pretty good. Let's just uh, maybe center that. Okay, um, here we have our little thing and it's all done and, and ready to go. Let's go ahead and get rid of the boundaries and guides lines. Now we've got our um, our uh, refrigerator magnet or whatever else we want to use it for. We've got it all done, but uh, how do we make it a graphic that can be resized and used in a whole lot of different things? Now I'm sure all of you know that if you just draw your marquee lines around your entire image and you group it, then you have something that you can move around and all of that kind of thing. And that's nice. You can put it in other Microsoft uh, products. You can put it in Word or in PowerPoint or something like that. But what happens if you try to resize it? This is where it gets difficult. Even if you press down the shift key, maybe you want a littler one for in your bulletin. See, it just gets all funny and weird and that doesn't work. So let's undo that. Now here's what you need to do to turn it into a graphic image. This is so simple. You're just not going to believe this. Um, and I can't believe I didn't know how to uh, do it for all the years that I, I use Publisher. You just go up to your file menu. You go to save as or save either one. We're just starting out with this. Now look at this here. I'm going to just say um, Bible card um, and you see usually you just save it as a publisher document. Now most of us know that if you do that there's all these different publisher formats that you can save it in. Publishers really nice like that. You can save it back to 98 or whatever if somebody has something like that. But I want you to notice something. Just keep clicking down here. This is what most of us never do and it goes into Word and you can say for this and this and this. But if you go down to the very end of that list, look at this. You can save your publisher file as a graphics file. Can you believe it? You can save it as a JPEG. The, the two that I use the most are JPEGs and PNG files because these will work both in print and on the web. So let's just say save it as a JPEG file. Now that's not the only thing. Look at this. This is so cool. It also has the resolution. Now it doesn't have a bazillion different ones like Photoshop has but you really don't need that many. If you click on change another dialog box pops up and look at you can save it for the web um, 96 dpi it's a fall, smaller file size works out really well the middle ones just 150 dpi um, works out great for just your desktop printing or if you want your high resolution commercial printing you can do it at 300 to be perfectly honest with you most of the time i'm just really lazy and i just click on um uh, doing it at 150 dpi and I use it for the web and both and that works out just really really well. Now let me put this little card somewhere where I can find it. Um, let's see under my documents let me just put it under um, my training site content and just under bible card I will be able to find that there. We'll save it. Now we now have saved this as a um, JPEG image. Let me show you the things that we can do with it now. I'm going to close out this file. I will just save that. I'm not worry about that. Now let's go ahead and perhaps let's open up a blank publication and say we wanted to do a postcard where we wanted to tell people about this program. Let's now do insert and we're going to do it from a file and just go up and get my um, I do sort of apologize my uh, 
my computer, I don't have just all kind of tidy and pretty things like some people that do the, uh, the stuff. This is, this is my real computer and you can just see all my, my junk here on it. So let's just get our little card, insert it. Now, there it is. It's a graphic image. Now, look what happens if we try to resize it now. Ta-da! You can you see you can size it, copy, paste. You can make it littler. You can make it bigger. You could make um, you know you can do all you, whatever you want to do. You can do it with it because it is now a graphics file. You can put it on the web. You can put it in print. You can put it in the newsletter. You can put it in your bulletin. You have this wonderful little thing, and it took you all of maybe five minutes in Publisher. Now, this isn't the only thing that you can do. This is a very simple one. I'll show you in another video how you can create a custom nameplate for the web. That is just so incredible. So have fun with it. Publisher is a great tool.